Hi everybody, welcome to Good Dog Grooming. My name is Colleen and this here is Casper and I had a request to do a video on how I hold the legs for a nail trim for a tiny dog. So this is Casper and we're going to do that for you today. Okay, so right now I have Casper on a non-adjustable table and I'm sitting in a chair. Now to Dremel his nails, I'm actually gonna stand up, but if you do have an adjustable table or you can choose a table that's kind of the right height, I would choose to have him on a slightly taller table because I'm actually gonna stand to do the Dremeling rather than stay sitting. And there's not much that I do differently from a small dog versus I'm considering him a tiny dog. There's not much different as far as the tips and tricks, but I'm just gonna show you what I do and how I hold him. Casper is a little bit older and he's got some stiff joints and so I'm going to be particularly careful and ginger with him but normally you would be with any tiny dog because they have tiny joints and tiny bodies and we need to be a little bit ginger with them in general. I will just point out how I hold these feet first and then I will actually do the demo for you. So when I do his front I'm probably going to hold him with these a little bit forward. And I'm using my arm to kind of have against his body here, so I'm not just reaching around with him floating out. And that gives me a little bit more control. I'm not taking this paw and moving it way out because that joint doesn't move that way. So I like to do these a little bit forward. And what's great about this hold is if the dog is resistant, you can actually lift it a bit. Yeah, I could do you up here like that. And it's even easier with this one because your arm is even more under the dog. If you need to hold the dog up like this, you can. And if he's got fur in the way, you just push that fur all back and hold it with your thumb. And then it gives you the nail there, okay? That's how I like to do those front ones. Here's how I like to do the back ones. Again, I'm reaching over the dog and in my small dog demo I showed how I use the elbow to keep the head away from what I'm doing but the small dog you don't have to do that as much it depends on the dog but you can still implement that strategy now sometimes with these tiny bodies this leg's going to get in the way of this dremel and so sometimes I work with the dremel kind of under the dog like that or you even can come under like this to do so okay because the butt of this Dremel is gonna be bumping into things. And so you've gotta get a little creative with that. And on this one, it's not so bad. I do like to have my arm under the dog for this one here. If I scoot that fur back, that gives me access. And again, notice I'm not lifting too high here. I'm not cranking out this way. I'm trying to stay within this range of motion right here and not, and especially not way up here either. Because again, any, whether he was older or younger, he's tiny and you really wouldn't want to do it. No, you wouldn't want someone to do that to you and just hold your leg up there too far. All right, let's give this a whirl. Are you ready? Let's give it a whirl. All right, I'm gonna start on his back legs, which I mentioned in my other video as well. And that's because most dogs are a little more tolerant of their back legs than the front ones. And so I like to start there. Let's see if he's gonna be a little bit grumpy with me. He might be, and we're gonna have to deal with that. But I know Casper pretty well, and even when he tries to bite me, he does not bite very hard. I don't think he has many teeth in there. Let me take a look. Well, he's got teeth, but anyway, his bite is not very strong. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give this a whirl, Casper. You be a good boy. There we go. All right, let's start here and see if I... I'll try going under. Easy. Good boy. Very good. All right. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Good boy. We did a whole foot. Great job. 
Good boy. Oh, good boy. All right. Oop, easy. Easy. Good boy. Good boy. Great job. Oh, he's so good. All right. Good boy. No, 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 no. It's alright. Right, I'm going to hug him a little closer to me to control his body a little more. Easy, easy. Good boy. Now his butt is bumping into my body and that's preventing him from backing up. Good boy. Good boy. I know. I know. It's hard. I'm sorry. Good boy. <laughs> All right. Notice how close my face is to Casper's face. If you have a dog that's trying to bite, real determined to bite, don't do that because they'll get you right in the lip or whatever. <laughs> He's doing okay with me though. Good boy. Now I'll do those dew claws in a second, but I'm just going to move on to this paw first. He's got a dew claw on each front leg. All right. Good boy. I should have worn a mask just to keep this dust out of my face. Good boy. Easy. I, 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 I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Alright. I'm going to see how we can Good boy. Casper is more likely to try to bite me when I exceed his, uh, when I exceed his range of motion. So, all okay. right. But we've also got to get the job done, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, almost there. I got one more now. Yes, I do. Hold on, but this way. Stay there. to let me do that without my arm under him. Hang on. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, you knock it off. Uh. Good boy. Good. All right, now I've got to find the best way to access these dew claws. All right, on this paw, I'm going to do it like this. I don't have the advantage of holding his body as well when I do these dew claws, just because of how I need my left hand so specifically here. But I think he'll let me do it. Good boy. Good boy. Good, good, good. Sensitive boy over here. I'll just do claw and then we're all done with them nails, okay? This one. Let's see if I can get it. I've got to hold the dew claw out. And I gotta be careful not to crank that leg up that way. It's tempting. 
Good boy. Good boy. It's all right. Easy. Good boy. Slow and steady. <laughs> I know. All right. I'm going to call it good. I'm going to call that good. You did it. You did it. All right, guys. So that was just the nails on Casper. I'm about to do a full shave down on him, which will be a separate video. So check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.